Okay, here's the rest of the practice test. For some reason, I lost the last three questions. And I'm sorry, the video's kind of grainy here, but it's all I can do right now. Okay, so we got four sine x is two. So let's just get this alone. So I'm gonna go quick, divide by four, boop, divide by four, that's gone. I got sine of x is one half. Okay, so let's, let's look this up. Where's the sine one half? So I grab my sheet and I'm sorry, the video is, is grainy and blurry. That's what I have, but I got the sine is right here, one half, 30 degrees. And here's the sine again, one half, sine is the y. So I got one half and one half, 30 and 150. So X is at 30 degrees and X is at 150 degrees. And then as many 360s as you like, just like we said yesterday. Okay, and if it says find all the answers, well, there's all the answers. I can say 30 and just keep adding multiples of 360. Okay, next one, same thing. It looks like, oh, we got this already alone, all right? Let's look this guy up. Okay, there's nothing to move over. This guy's kind of trapped in there. So we look up where's the sine, which is the y, negative radical three over two. So let's see, where's the sine? Negative going down, boom, boom, boom. Here they are, there, there's a y and there's a y. So we have 300 and 240, sorry, that's blurry. 300 and 240. So, but oh, whoop, we got 6x. 6x is, let me look at those numbers again, 300 plus multiples of 360. And then we have 6x is uh, 240 plus multiples of 360. Okay. And then, like, oh, I got a six here. Okay, so we'll take care of that. Divide by six, 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 divide by six. Okay, so we got boom. So we got X is 50 degrees plus multiples of 60. Okay, and then we do it again. Whoop. X is 40 degrees plus multiples of 60. And there you go. There's your two answers if we say all. And remember, if they didn't say all, these are the ones that say all. If they didn't say all, I'd have to start writing them out. Like I'd have to go, okay, got 50 plus 60, that would be 110 plus 60 would be 107. And you'd have to keep writing them and writing them for this if I actually wanted you to list them. But it said all, so there you go. Okay, and here's the last one. Ooh, this looks like factoring. In fact, if you look at it, doesn't it kind of look like x squared plus 2x minus 3. Isn't that like something squared plus 2x minus 3 and you just factor it? That's all that is, except we've got, we got cosine. So cosine squared is cosine x times cosine x. 3 is probably 3 times 1. That's all I can think of. And to get two of these, how about 3 cookies minus a cookie? 3 cookies minus a cookie is 2 cookies. So I have two problems. So you work out the two baby problems here, two little mini problems. One's equal to zero. The other guy's equal to zero. Of course, it only works if they're equal to zero. Solve each one of these. Cosine of x is negative three. And then wait a minute, huh? You can't have negative three. Remember, you're always getting numbers from zero to one. You're all supposed to get a little decimal. So this answer is no good. This guy, cosine of x, move that over is one. Okay, where's the cosine one? Actually, I know that. It's right there. The cosine is the x. At one, that's at zero degrees. So x is zero degrees plus multiples of 360. But it actually said, can you actually tell me the answers from zero to two pi or from zero to 360 degrees? Okay, let's start writing them. Zero. Oh, I guess that's it, because if you add 360, I'm already at the limit. If you want to write 360 again, you could, but they often, that's the same angle. So we'll just say zero. Technically, it's actually zero to 359, because 360 is the same thing. And there's how you do all the stuff.